Men are unhappy in today's society for more reasons than we think. I know that this video topic is kind of depressing and that's not my intention whatsoever. Really what my intention is, is to bring light on certain areas of a man's life that goes unnoticed to a lot of people and maybe himself. Maybe he's find it normal to feel let down, disrespected, um, useless. These are all words that I know hold a heavy weight, but this is honestly what a lot of men have to carry. When we are living in a society that is building and breeding women into their masculinity, it allows zero room for men to be acknowledged not only by women in the ways that they deserve with respect and integrity to who they are, but it also creates a downfall, a downfall within the dating realm um, for men because you know we as women are innately programmed to want to date a man that is higher almost in status and that's not like a wrong thing i think it's a natural thing that ensures a woman protection but the game that is being played is we are building women up to be the men and we are creating dissatisfaction within the men due to the very fact that they are being programmed to over identify with their emotional states and not do anything about them which is causing men to be depressed anxious overweight addicts and also unfortunately the male suicide rate is higher than ever before and the fact that this is not being discussed more openly in a way that isn't trying to be controversial or rebellious to the media and what's being said and programmed into us human beings this is the real conversations that need to be had to be addressed in a way that can bring light to the topics that go unnoticed and for me, a huge component of my videos and talking to men is not only because I become aware of not only the pitfalls that men are falling into, but also women are falling into. Now, I know that we are all aware of, uh, you know, the over-sexualization. I don't want to get too into it because I talk a lot about it on my channel. So if you guys are interested in seeing more about that, please scroll down to my videos. But we can't ignore that this is not having an impact on us human beings, not only an impact on how we view ourselves as objects, but also other people, other people that we can use and abuse to satisfy something within us that is unmet. Now, I say this due to the fact of a lot of people are seeking validation through multiple partnerships, validation through media sources, media webs, um, like TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, etc. Um, you know, showing less and expecting more. Um, this could be a fact of, you know, just the pattern of blame within our society today is at an all time high as well. And blame without any action is just stagnancy that is not creating any sort of ability to grow because we are not even accessing our very own hurt and pain in a way that's going to produce a level of awareness and accountability so we can actually access greater freedom and i feel like in today's society i'm talking specifically for the men because um you know people will look at people who want to support men as crazy like what you want to support men they were a part of the patriarchy they were, um, why? We don't need men anymore. Why are you trying to build them up so we can have the patriarchy all over again? Um, there's a lot of excuses for this. And I find when I even like say what I do for a living, a lot of people are very confused about it. They don't know why. Um, I can just tell on their face that there's a level of confusion there, that I uh, cater my, my videos, my content to masculinity. And I think me being a woman and saying that is something that's highly rare. And I'm not doing that to boast myself. I'm doing that um, and I'm saying this to you guys because, I mean, it's just a evidence that this is needed more than ever. This message is needed more than ever. Men need to stand firm within who they are. And I know that it's really hard for men to do that in today's society because when they do, they're labeled as controversial, uh, misogynistic, toxic, all of these labels 
that we are throwing rocks metaphorically at the men who are trying to actually rebuild not only our society, men, but as a result of building up our men, we are actually allowing women to remain in their femininity not needing to fight or protect against the men that, that have not seen healthy masculinity before. We do not raise our young boys up with actually healthy masculine role models. And a great example is this, is going and looking at Disney. What was the last Disney movie that catered to young boys, young men that aren't cars or trucks or anything? Actually human being young men being built up into their masculine structure in a way that young men can perceive within themselves, can feel inspired within themselves to do. But that's not happening. And we can see that it's very clear. So in today's video, I wanna remind everyone who's watching this that if you are not happy with the ways things are being or going or turning out, we have to stop waiting for things to magically change in our favor. We need to be the change. We need to speak our truth. We need to empower one another back inside of our innate integrity. Integrity that comes by not allowing the outside world to tear you down. To be intact in who you are. Structured within your mind. Structured within how you present yourself in a way that is actually true to who you are and not allowing yourself to become fragile, docile, weakened by another person's way of how it should be. You know the way, and the way will be represented in you when you are very aware and clear about where you are wanting to go, what you are wanting to see, and the change you are wanting to bring forward. I hope this video could inspire you. It's a short message, but a message that's important. More women need to support our men. And more men need to feel empowered within their divinity, the divinity that comes from actually being able to harness the energy that will not allow you to be weakened in a state that breeds destruction in our men. In a healthy way, you looking out not only for yourself, but for the next generation, your family, having a higher purpose in mind when you go out into the world. How you show up matters, how you treat yourself matters, and how you treat other people matters. Just because you're hurt does not mean you get to bleed your wounds onto another person who did not cut you. Heal yourself so we can heal the world. Heal yourself, uplift yourself, so you can be an example for the young men that need you. And speak your truth. Don't allow another person's opinion of you stop you from being who you are because you are more than capable. You are a man, a man with integrity. Don't allow yourself to tear yourself down to make you feel comfortable within the weakening that is happening. Stand strong, stand firm, and know who you are. I hope you guys liked today's video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.